Hello, welcome back to Meta Perfume. I'm Emily. I gave her Twixie. <laughs> Sorry. Usually my dog is sitting right there, but she's on the other couch right now. So I'm here with Twixie, but she's out of frame. And I'm continuing finally almost to the end of my green tea comparison series. Um, I've been comparing the flankers on the green tea because there are a lot of them. And today I'm going to compare the green tea nectarine blossom and the green tea pear blossom for hopefully obvious reasons both stone fruit both have three out of four of the same words in the name and get into it so green tea nectarine blossom this is fruity and floral as you can imagine and tea Mmm, right out of the nose. Smells good. Mm. It's got a really realistic, I would say, as far as they go, uh, stone fruit, nectarine, uh, peach scent. The notes on this one are peach on top, green tea, exotic fruits, and bergamot. Peach being the most prominent in the top. In the middle, we have nectarine, green tea again, <laughs> and nectarine blossom. And in the base, we have musk. So musk, a gentle kind of low-key musk, I would say. Sitting really nicely with the very prominent nectarine and peach notes, and then the nice complement of the green tea note. I don't really smell much bergamot, but I'm sure it just adds a little bit of depth to the top. Now, this is a really nice fragrance. See, I've gone through some of it. It smells lovely. It's got a really beautiful opening. It lasts moderately decent for a green tea flanker. I would say it's not the worst and it's not the best, but it's somewhere in the middle. Um, I'd give it maybe four or five hours, depending on how much you spray. Here's Twixie. Hey, Twixie. <laughs> and I really enjoy this fragrance. I've had a good time kind of comparing the two fragrances. It's just a lovely fruit. It, I don't think it smells very synthetic. I mean, I think most fruit notes, especially stone fruits, actually are synthetic, but this one with the mix of the notes in it smells pretty realistic, so it's just very pleasant. Fruity floral tea, really nice green tea nectarine blossom. So we compare that to our green tea pear blossom. This one. The 1.7 ounce of this green tea pear blossom. Mm. Alcohol in the nose takes a little bit longer to wear off, but it doesn't last long. Maybe like 10, 20 seconds. But when it's, yeah, it's gone. Um, yeah, this, the notes of the green tea pear blossom are top notes of Anjou pear, Sicilian bergamot, uh, Sicilian lemon, sorry, and bergamot. Middle notes of green tea, pear blossom, jasmine sambac, and mate. And base notes of musk, moss, and amber. Now, I think the pear in this fragrance is gorgeous. Like, I like a pear note. I generally enjoy it, but I think a lot of times it can smell a bit synthetic. And for me, again, similar to the nectarine blossom flanker, it's got a really nice complement of notes that I think make it smell even more realistic to pair. Yeah, no, it's really good. The green tea nectarine blossom came out in 2016 and this flanker, the green tea pear blossom, came out in 2020. Mm. Does that pair note? Oh, now I had a hard time like deciding which one was the best flanker, but 
given that a I love pear. I really love pear. <laughs> like if you gave me a realistic pear note and a realistic nectarine and peach note, I'd probably go for the pear note just generally. I think they're both beautiful. I think they're, they both have similar longevity, which is, you know, maybe three and a half, four and a half hours, depending on how you spray. They're both light, springy, summertime fragrances. They're probably going to get lost in cold weather, but in warm weather, they'll do well. No, they won't. Be overpowering but I think given my preference for pear and the fact that I think this is probably the best pear fragrance that I own I think I'm gonna give it to green tea pear blossom as the winner of the verses but they're very close so if it was green tea nectarine blossom versus several of the other flankers green tea nectarine blossom would probably win so oh also they're both available on fragrance net which is a discount fragrance online store that has a huge selection and deep discounts on their fragrances and I've always gotten genuine fragrances from there no issues with that um, the 3.3 ounce full-size version of the green tea nectarine blossom is after their 30% discount coupon $12.35 for a full-size bottle they also have a 16 ounce shower gel that's after coupon $12.99 so both of those Good, good. Um, the green tea pear blossom has two sizes. The 1.7 ounce, which is what I have, is $9.47 after the 30% off coupon that you can pretty much always apply. And they have a tester, which I think may exclude the cap in the full size. They say 3.4 ounce for $11 and four cents. So incredibly well-priced, delicious smelling, light, lovely beautiful green tea flankers both of them i'm giving it to green tea pear because of my personal preferences but if you like a peach note in over a pear note you'd probably think this one is better i think they're both really really good and a really great value so there we go that's my almost to the end of my uh green tea flankers versus series i have one more and i'm trying to decide whether i'm going to pair it with one i've already done or get another one so i can have a real new versus competition but that'll be coming soon thank you all for tuning in if you like this video please give it a like please give it a subscribe i'm getting close to my thousand <laughs> threshold i really appreciate everybody take care and see you next time bye, -bye.